He taught us the potential benefits of idealized design. Idealized design. Uh, how many have, of you have heard his classic example of Bell Labs redesigning the telephone system? Okay, about 10, so I can tell him. A lot of sharp people in Bell Labs were all called together in a room and they were told that the telephone system had been destroyed. It didn't exist anymore. It was up to them to reinvent the telephone. And out of that process came touch tone dialing instead of the old rotaries. Remember those? Call waiting, call messaging, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, the application today that's just, I think, even better than the storm, the blizzard, is Haiti. Haiti has just been destroyed. And for us, we're here. I think you'd be leading a group to go down there and, and Put in, excuse me, put in a, an idealized design. And I hope maybe some of his colleagues here think to do that. Upon my retirement in 2001, I was asked by the Dean of Washington University's Poland Business School to become an executive in residence. And I said, what's that? And he said, well, if anything, we want to be. Because there are the first one. <laughs> So he said, would well, I like to teach a course? And I said, no, I really don't want to work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> would I help establish an uh, executive MBA program in Shanghai, which was the first foreign program sponsored by the old school? And I said, sure, because I've been there for maybe five or ten trips in the last year, and about 30 over the past four years. Would I give, oh, by the way, that school, <clears throat> has just been rated number seven in the world by the Financial Times of London. And it has made money every year, even in the first year. Would I give a guest lecture on what I have learned in 36 years at Ann House Question? Sure, I said, who was that? That was a big headache. You ever sat down and asked yourself, what have you learned in your life? It's difficult. It took me three solid months, and I came up with a lecture on the top ten things I could learn. And you know, you only learn from mistakes. So, I reflected on the top ten. And five of them had come directly or indirectly from us. That's 50%. And I spent less than 5% of my time with us, and I got 50%. <laughs> he was a great teacher <coughs> in his early years, as many of you have said, he was a liger, a combination of a tiger and a lion, bigger than either one. And a lot of people were afraid of him. They didn't know so much when I In later years, he mellowed. <laughs> into a joke-telling and thought-provoking land. And I think Helen here had an awful lot to do with it. So Helen, we thank you. <laughs> Thanks for you.